Good morning from Kyoto. We are all packed up and ready to go. And our bellies are full. Yes, our bellies are full from did McDonald's you, once did you again. Did breakfast at the hotel? No, I did no. not. <laughs> we had it at McDonald's, <laughs> but it was so good because well, we don't eat McDonald's all the time. The hotel did give us a discount coupon to use in the cafe, so we thought we would eat there this morning. Yeah. And we sat down at our table yeah. and proceeded to be ignored uh-huh. for 20 minutes. So we got up and we walked across the street to McDonald's, <laughs> saved ourselves 20 bucks along the way, and um, had three hash browns. <laughs> McGriddle, uh, double sausage, egg, and cheese. And chicken with nuggets for $11. And chicken nuggets. For $11. Coffee, cold coffee. <laughs> and now you can tell us the price. How much was it? $11. Thank you, Lucia. I said it three times already because <laughs> I'm being facetious this morning. <laughs> No, we're having a blast. This was a great stop here mm-hmm. in Kyoto. I think we had about the perfect amount of time. We did. We did not go to see the monkeys because no. I don't want to see monkeys. <laughs> I live with a monkey. I live with the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what's going on next is we're charging our internet pack. I forgot to plug it in last night in my um, drunken stupor. <laughs> Wait. You were not drunk. You were having a good time. They make the drinks very strong around here, <laughs> I'll tell you that. And uh, <clears throat> once that's charged, we're going to head down to the subway station. The subway station is right outside the door of our yeah. hotel. So stay tuned, guys. Kyoto Station from the subway station and then Kyoto to Osaka. We should be down there in about two hours eating takoyaki on Dotonbori Street. You're going to love it. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. So we're in Osaka and it's raining. So rainy, rainy day. we really can't film too much, but I want to show you guys this. Uh, let's see. Whoop. That is the Osaka Castle in the background. Can you see it? They can see it. Okay. And we don't know if there's an elevator in there or not. So we're just going to capture a picture, but we just got done having a wonderful lunch at Good Spoon. At the end of today's episode, if I remember, we're going to put all the pictures in to show you of our adventure today because everybody knows electronics don't do good in the rain. What do you got to say? Oh, I ate too much Korean barbecue. What else is new? You always (laughs) eat too much. (laughs) Through the trees is Osaka Castle. We are currently on a train ride going around the castle. Hopefully you guys can see it through the trees. All right, we've just arrived. Look at that cute little key holder. I kind of like that. We've just arrived in our hotel room. We've got a beautiful closet. Nice little mini bar, which there's water inside. And we've got a nice spot for our suitcases, nice little entertainment center, and a beautiful husband. Uh, That's a pretty big bed compared to Kyoto, you think? Yeah. Nice little area, nice little seating. Look at our view. This is what I wanted to show you guys before when we were on the train. And here comes the boat. So this is their boat ride. Look at that, that is so cool. That's like as if we were, when we were in Amsterdam. That is a really cool boat ride. I think we're gonna get to experience that. We've also got Joe Dan, Osaka Joe Hall, sorry. Look at all the people. Lots of people out in the rain. Over there, that's what I wanna show you guys before, the castle. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, Glenn? I'm glad we didn't go on that because we would have been regretting. I don't think there's an elevator in there. Nice little playing field. Osaka Joe Harbor. Very nice. Uh oh. What do you got there, Murphy? I'm going to the pool. You're going to the pool? Mm-hmm. Look at that cute little kimono on you. You sure that doesn't go around your head like a samurai? <laughs> you look adorable. Is that what that is? Is that a robe for the pool? Or is that a a robe to go to bed in? That is adorable. And last but not least, the bathroom. Ooh, very nice. Hair dryer, telephone in the bathroom. Nice big shower. I dig it. Look at my sexy husband. Ooh, yeah. I get to wake up to that every day. Look at that castle in the background. Isn't that dynamite or what? I don't think you could have got a better room here in Osaka. Nope. New Otani is a five-star hotel, and we got to stay in one in Taiwan, and we got to stay in one out in Tokyo. It's about 200 bucks a night here, 
maybe a little more. That's a really cool boat. I can see everybody on that boat. Zooming right in on you. Oh, there's tables and stuff in there too. Maybe, you never know. So up next, we are gonna hopefully make it to Mario Kart. All depends on the weather. If the weather wants to cooperate, it doesn't look too promising at the moment, but we're working on a plan B if that's the case. Okay, one, two, three! We did it! Mario Kart, it's in Osaka. It's not Mario Kart anymore. Nope. It's called Akita Street Kart because of a copyright complaint. I guess they had to take Mario Kart out of their trade or whichever. But anywho how, we got on some street carts and we went through different districts of Osaka and let me tell you what, people were taking our picture, people were waving, high-fiving. We got a flyer to a big rock concert tomorrow night of some type. Don't know what's involved, but you never know, we might make an appearance. But now, we are walking down a district that tourists just don't go down. There's something down here that we can't wait to show you when we get there. So we're inside this market slash restaurant where people are fishing for their dinner. Over there. And this is the most craziest experience I've ever experienced. There's a line out the door, and we're about to dive into some really good food. Insane. Holy God. The Mario Kart experience was totally and utterly mm -hmm. awesome. We were driving around the streets mm -hmm. in downtown Osaka, and they have all of the lights synchronized on the roads. Mm -hmm. So, when the light would change green, you would be able to drive for an entire mile mm -hmm. without interruption. No stopping, no red lights, no people in your, in your way. After that, I, uh, I knew which neighborhood we were in mm -hmm. because there's this uh, Tokyo Tower called the Tsutenkaku. The what? Tsutenkaku. T-S-U-T-E-N-K-A-K-U. And it is gorgeous that night. But it represents a whole entire neighborhood of entertainment and restaurants. Oh. And we did not eat at the first restaurant that we saw. We went in and we ate at the Fish for Your Food restaurant. Thank you, Samsuro. Uh, they, Samurai Jinjuro. Samurai Jinjuro, thank you. <laughs> And um, you were able to throw a fishing pole in the water and you pull out your fish. And what you pull out, you keep. You cannot throw it back. You can't throw it back. You show your ticket to say what table you're at to one of the staff members. Give them your fish and tell them how you want it to cook. So, all in all, I would give today a 10 out of 10 as far as adventure and, uh, <clears throat> and experiences go. And tomorrow, we're going to see if we can make 11 out of 10. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Tell your friends about us. Peace out.